Hello, welcome into a Phoenix tutorial video by CDP Inc. I'm Matthew Donnelly, and today we're going to be looking at general layout in Phoenix version 5. Without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, we opened up a project in Phoenix 5. And if we look, there's three main data blocks that we see when we first open up a project. We've got our activity table on the left, our Gantt chart on the right, and then in the bottom we have the activity editor or the activity details window. And the activity table on the left offers us a look into each of our activities and certain values that we can see by adding and removing columns. And to do that, we come in, we can right click our column header and go to Format Columns. And we can add in columns via the Format dialog box. So, for instance, I can add in a column called Total Float. And I push it over to the right. And I can oh, hit OK to close out of this dialog box. And now I've got my Total Float column allowing me to analyze our critical path. In our Gantt chart on the right, we are able to view the bars in a linear format based on how we sort our activity table on the left. And for our Gantt chart, we're actually able to edit our time scale and also our bars. If we right click in our Gantt chart, we have the option to choose format time scale, where if we open it up, we see that we have our time scale tab in that format dialog box that has three tiers. Right now we're basing our time scale on years, months, and days. We can change this to month, weeks and days if we wanted, if we hit OK. You see now instead of our years at the top, now we have our months, our weeks, and then our days. Similarly, if we choose format bars, this gives us an option to come in and change our coloring, the style of bars. If you look at this bar here for our remaining duration. This is our standard bar in Phoenix. You can see grade site is a green remaining duration bar. As we update our schedule, they'll turn blue as we complete activities. And then you see our red activities are critical. And these critical activities are updated in the critical tab. You can choose your critical threshold, the color of your critical bars, and even you can choose whether to include them or not in the bottom. In the bottom of our screen, we have what's known as the activity editor. And if we select on an activity line in our activity table, for instance, grade site, in our activity editor, we have our ID, description, we can change these down here, as well as our start and finish dates, the type of activity. We can also edit our calendar. What is their work week? We can put in constraints. And lastly, we have original duration, remaining, and percent complete values as well. The enter key is vital to Phoenix. When we press enter, we finalize all the changes that we make to this activity. So I'll put 15 days original duration. If we hit enter, it will finalize that change in our activity table. As always, thanks for watching. You can find our website and further videos at www.cdp-inc.com. We'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to our email or phone number and connect with CDP Inc. on LinkedIn. See you in the next video.